President Draupadi Murmu on Saturday conferred Bharat Ratna, the country's highest civilian honour, on former Prime Ministers P.V. Narsimha Rao and Chaudhary Charan Singh, Agricultural Scientist M.S. Swaminathan and two-time former Bihar Chief Minister Karpuri Thakur posthumously at a ceremony held at the Rashtrapati Bhavan today. The Bharat Ratna Awards presented posthumously to Narsimha Rao, Chaudhary Charan Singh, Karpuri Thakur and M.S. Swaminathan were received by the family members. P.V. Prabhakar Rao, the son of former Prime Minister Narsimha Rao, received the award conferred on his father from the President Draupadi Murmu. Jain Chaudhary, Chief of the Rashtriya Lokdal, accepted the honour on behalf of former Prime Minister and his grandfather Chaudhary Charan Singh. M.S. Swaminathan's daughter Nitya Rao and Karpuri Thakur's son Ramnath Thakur received the award from President Draupadi Murmu. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and other dignitaries were present on the occasion. P.V. Narsimha Rao, who was Prime Minister from 1991 to 1996 and often referred to as the Chanukya of Indian politics, is known for initiating far-reaching economic reforms and for his skillful political manoeuvring. He was the first Prime Minister from the South and the first Congress leader from outside the Nehru Gandhi family to complete a full five-year term and the man who steered India through the turbulent years of the early 90s. Born in an agrarian family in Karimnagar district, now in Telangana, on the 28th of June 1921, he was educated at the Usmania, Bombay and Nagpur universities from where he earned his BSc and LLB degrees. Narsimha Rao was also in charge of important portfolios at the center, including those of external affairs, defense and home during the 1980s. Narsimha Rao passed away on the 23rd of December 2004 at the age of 83 years. Chaudhary Charan Singh, a Jat leader from Western Uttar Pradesh, was Prime Minister between 28th of July 1979 and 14th of January 1980. Born on the 23rd of December 1902, at Mirpur in Meerut district of Uttar Pradesh in a middle class family, Charan Singh shifted to Meerut in 1929 and later joined the Congress party. Chaudhary Charan Singh became Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh for the second time in February 1970 with the support of the Congress. However, President's rule was imposed in the state on the 2nd of October 1970. Considered the chief architect of several land reforms in Uttar Pradesh, Charan Singh had the reputation of being a hard taskmaster who would not tolerate inefficiency, nepotism and corruption in administration. A dedicated public worker and a staunch believer in social justice, his strength stemmed from the confidence that he enjoyed among millions of farmers. Charan Singh passed away in 1987. Agricultural scientist M. S. Swaminathan is most widely known for transforming India from a drought-stricken country dependent on the United States for import of food grains in the 1960s to being declared self-sufficient in food production in 1971. Swaminathan conducted pioneering work in the field of agro-research, introducing high-yielding genetic varieties of rice and wheat in India and the subcontinent alongside American agronomist Norman Borlaug. M. S. Swaminathan was awarded the first World Food Prize in 1987 for his far-reaching contributions. M. S. Swaminathan's research as a plant geneticist addressed the issue of food insecurity and helped small farmers increase their income by enhancing productivity. He dedicated his entire life to improving agriculture and the income of farmers. Fondly addressed as M. S. by his friends and colleagues, Manakumbu Sambasivan Swaminathan, in his long career, demonstrated what he advocated, developing new varieties for food security and ensured bumper crop production by personally working alongside the farmers. Born in Kumbakonam in Tamil Nadu on the 7th of August 1925, Swaminathan played a significant role in changing the trajectory of the agricultural sector when farmers were dependent on archaic farming techniques. A former member of the Rajya Sabha from 2007 to 2013, M.S. Swaminathan received 84 honorary doctorate degrees from various universities around the world. 
the nation lost its devoted son when he passed away on the 28th of September 2023 at the ripe age of 98 years. Karpuri Thakur, popularly known as Jananayak, served as Chief Minister of Bihar from December 1970 to June 1971 and then again from December 1977 to April 1979. He was a key figure in the struggle against social discrimination and inequality. A towering leader of OBC politics, especially in Bihar, Karpuri Thakur was born on the 24th of January 1924 in one of the most backward sections of society, the Nai Samaj. His political journey was marked by his unwavering commitment to the marginalized sections of society. Karpuri Thakur's commitment to affirmative action gave representation and opportunities to the poor, oppressed, exploited and deprived sections of the country. His policies and reforms were instrumental in bringing about many significant changes in the lives of ordinary citizens, especially in the fields of education, employment and farmer welfare. His tenure as chief minister is best remembered for the implementation of the Mungeri Lal Commission recommendations. whereby quotas for backward classes were introduced in the state he passed away on the 17th of february 1988 this year the government has announced a total of 5 bharat ratna awards including one to former deputy prime minister and bharatiya janata party leader lal krishna advani Ratna is the country's highest civilian award presented for extraordinary national service in any field such as the arts literature science public service and sports Bharat Ratna is awarded to people who bring glory to our nation through their pioneering works and exceptional contribution in their respective fields prior to 2011 the award was given only in the fields of art literature science and social service but in 2011 The law was amended and now Bharat Ratna can be given to a person from any field. The Bharat Ratna award consists of a medal and a citation. This citation is signed by the President of India. Along with this, an awardee of the Bharat Ratna is given a people leaf shaped medal made of copper metal which is about 5.8 cm long and 4.7 cm wide and 3.1 mm thick. The medal has an artwork of shining sun on it. with the words bharat ratna inscribed below it in the hindi language the bharat ratna award does not carry with it any cash reward but the awardee enjoys several facilities whichever state the bharat ratna awardee visits he or she is accorded the honor of a state guest bharat ratna awardees are provided transportation boarding and lodging facilities in the state extended security and protection is also ensured bharat ratna awardees are also invited to attend important government functions Recipients of the highest civilian award can write awarded Bharat Ratna by the president or Bharat Ratna award recipient on their resume letter head or visiting cards there are no written instructions yet regarding facilities to be provided to the families of Bharat Ratna recipients however the state government provides guest facilities to the families of the persons receiving this supreme honor